Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? How y'all doing? You know who this is, the chosen one, Gabriel Skywalker from the DFS Club, coming to you guys with another NBA main slate video. Man, I'm on a roll, two days in a row. Um, pretty, did, did really good today, guys. The club did really good. Um, hopefully you guys did too. We had some good picks on last night's video, guys. Sarge, right? Uh, I even talked about Sarge in the members only podcast and I, I, I caught some shit for it. I did. And then, uh, you got a 27 burger in, in that three K range. So that worked out great. Um, the Luca fade worked out just fine. Uh, LeBron was awesome. So yeah, guys, um, just from last night's video, um, you guys should have cashed really nicely and as promised guys. We're going to be giving away a free one-month DFS Club membership sponsored by one of our family members, Chris. Chris the Truff, all right? Uh, he won so much, he just wanted to give back. He said he wanted to give away a membership so to support the channel, to support the DFS Club. So let's do it, guys. We do tons of giveaways on this channel. If you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Leave me a comment down below. Because I'll be giving a $20 PayPal free giveaway this Saturday night. So don't you dare be sour. All right, guys. So who is the winner of the free one-month DFS Club membership? It could be you. Let's go. Who's it going to be? Who's it going to be? NY Giants fan forever 85. He says, glad to see, <laughs> glad to see you back. Let's get this bread. Congratulations, New York Giants fan forever, 85. Hit me up via email, skywalkerdfs at gmail.com. Congratulations, man. And shout out to Chris the Truff, man, for uh, doing that. That was really nice of, of him, wanting to give back to everybody. And uh, congratulations. Welcome to the family. Um, again, email me, skywalkerdfs at gmail.com. So it's time to show exactly how we did. So let me pull this up, guys, because I always got to brag about the family. It's just what I do, because other other fake ass people on here <clears throat> can't meet you. Um, first of all, don't even do videos anymore because they're too fucking lazy. Second of all, they say they crush it. They crush it. and They never show you guys. So I like to brag about my family because look at all this, guys. It's going to take me all night to get through this shit. But <laughs> let's go. Dez. Got a 317. Very nice. Good call on the members only podcast. Uh, Space and LT were all over uh, Colby White. So shout out to them, man. B Legendary 256. Another low scoring night, but Kendrick Nunn was my call. Let's go. Kendrick Nunn. He got what, guys? 50 something fantasy points. EJ Man 2012 274. Uh, he did a little bit better than that. Um, Let's see. Let's get to the actual. There we go. Happy Camper, 298, DFS Junior. Man, he's crushing on Yahoo, guys. I got to try Yahoo. Uh, LLLCHBRT. Very nice. Big Easy. First large takedown, he says. Won $558. 321. Very nice, dude. How much was that? $558. First large takedown. Let's give that some fire. Congratulations, Big Easy. LLL's best line was a 306. Yeah, that Hardaway, too. Once Porzingis was out, man, once we got that news, it was time because there was no value on the slate. None. Um, otherwise, we would have been stuck with P.J. Tucker, which was a complete fade. If you've been playing DFS for a while, you should already know that. <laughs> um, Peacock, 311, one of my favorite bands. And then a 323, very nice. Go St. Patrick, 316, won 400 bucks. That's what we do, guys. Jimp, my man Jimp, 275, 280. And then these are mine, guys. I got a 311, 302 on FanDuel. And then my, my DK there, another big win, guys. Joey Joe got a 296. Very nice. Yeah, Kendrick Nunn got 51. Most of the studs busted tonight, guys. It was crazy. Um, let's see. There's jumping in bones. Got a 356 on Vandal. Wow, that's on the 100k tournament, dude. Very nice. There he is. 
EJ Man, 2012, 297. Nice, dude. What is a 160? No, I can't be right. <laughs> he must have screenshotted that when it was adding up. You can tell. But yeah, good job, dude. Oh, there he is. He posted it. 297. Okay. Bones. Yeah, there it is again. Dominic. Dominic, 266. Still cast, my man. Still cast. Very nice. This is my that's Schroeder and I. That's our celebrations there. <laughs> LT, man, doing LT things. LT joined us for the members only podcast today. Shout out to LT, man. Take down here. Came at first there. He won about a thousand dollars tonight. Good job, man. Good freaking job. Uh Adam, 313. He's a welcome addition to the club, too. He's always helping out. Slim Dog, 269. And a 301. Sons. Very nice, you guys. Cobra Commander's been on a roll, too. 320. And then Lake Show. Very nice. $41, guys. Whew. So those were those were the winners, guys. And I'm sure there's more. It's just they're still posting them, guys. If you want to be a part of this DFS movement, guys, you get two providers in one. You already know what time it is. It's DFSclub.com. If you didn't win the giveaway, don't you dare be sour. Because, guys... I show you every single night what we're doing in here. It's it's something special. It's a DFS movement. I've been calling it that for years. You got DFS space, myself, um, 400, almost 500 uh, family members in there, guys. And we get every single sport, not a package for one sport, for two sports. Take your package and shove it, you know, where if you're offering packages. No, you get every single sport, everything. Click join now. You dare be sour. Click my logo, Skywalker DFS, and then shop around, guys. And then come back to us, dfsclub.com. Nobody in the industry can touch these prices. We win the most. We have the most fun. And we have the most fun. You get access to all my uh, cheat sheets, guys, the projections, the ownership. One hour before lock, we have the members-only podcast, guys. I look forward to those every single day. So DFS Club. Dot com. Don't you dare be sour. Come join the family, guys. We would definitely love to have you. It's not about getting rich here, man. It's just about building the best community out there. All right. So let's, we got the homework out the way. Let's go to the actual slate. Let me pull up draft dashboard, guys. This is my sponsor. That's $1 for 30 days. Click on the link in the description below. You yourself can have draft dashboard, guys. You, have, you can get access to all my saved lineups. All my player pools, guys, the lineup optimizer, which will go to the end of the video and build a lineup. My line, my video lineups last night probably didn't cash because I had a boogie in them. But I'm sure if you pivoted off a of boogie, those lineups cast nicely. The player trends, guys, sleepers and studs, the position optimizer, and the NBA cheat sheet. Because if you can't win, cheat. Got the best studs, best mid-tier, best value. This is draft dashboard, guys. Again, it's only a buck. Link. Down there. And if you guys have any questions about anything, email me, skywalkerdfs at gmail.com, because I do not check Twitter, because fuck Twitter. And I'm just not a social media guy, really. So I just use it to promote my, my videos and the club. Other than that, I stay the fuck away from it. Social media these days is just like cancer. All right. So let's look at the injury. So saying here, Paul George is out. Uh, I just saw that. Okay. Uh, Drew Holiday's questionable. Kyle Lowry's questionable. So, again, we're looking at a slate here with pretty much no value. Looks like Curry's going to play as far as we know, right, as long as they don't fucking pull him after lock like last time. Harrison Barnes is questionable. Glenn Robinson's questionable. Jeff Green's questionable. So, a lot of questionables here. All right, so let's get into it. So, let's break it down. All right, so... We'll start at point guard. So, Luca, back-to-back, 11-2 against Boston. Um, probably not for me, but, I mean, Luca's always in play, guys. Who, who am I fooling? But probably not, just not for me. I think we can probably do better on this slate. When there's no value the night before, I, I have a really hard time paying over 11 k for a player. Um, it's not that he's bad, so don't you dare be sour and say, fucking Skywalker, you don't know shit for not picking Luca, Guys, it's not personal. Um, James Harden, I love it. 10-7. Get some Sacramento Queens, guys. Last time he played him, he got a 71. 
And Harden's been balling out lately, 67, 54, 68, 71, 63. I'd rather take the savings here. I know it's only like 500 bucks, but every dollar matters in DFS, especially in these large slates. So, yeah, James Harden, one of my favorite payups, guys, 10.7K. Get him in there. Demi Lillard's okay. I would just rather get to Harden. Um, Russell Westbrook, Bradley Beal's a back-to-back. -back, so, whichever one plays, you can roll with them. Uh, Trey Young at 9-7 is a fine play. He's been lights out, 69, 59, 58. Get some matchup against Cleveland. It's just the Hawks are favored by a lot here. So, beware of the blowout. Let's see. Kyrie Irving, 8-8. Eight, eight. You can stack Kyrie and James if you want. Now, I like this because we love to pick on Sacramento, right? They, have, they play no defense. And Sacramento uh, pretty much is healthy. We'll see if Harrison Barnes plays. So what that means is this game hopefully will stay competitive. And with that said, I want to attack it as much as I can. Um, Kyrie, 57 and a 68 in his last two against Sacramento, guys. So at 8-8, eight, eight, you can definitely get him in there. Hopefully, which I'm sure it will, value will open up. All right, it's the NBA. We already know, so don't you dare be sour. Um, this is the night before I'm filming this. So Jamal Murray's okay at eight five. He's been balling out. Um, I mean, these Toronto guards. I mean, it's been hard to really nail down who's going to show out. And plus, Kyle Lowry might be back. If Kyle Lowry's back at seven one, you can definitely roll him out there as long as he's not on no res uh, minutes restriction. But yeah, these Toronto guards. I mean, pick one, I guess. Um, Darren Fox is okay to 8K. I mean, just okay. Colin Sexton, 7'2. No, still too expensive for my taste. Kemba Walker at 6'4. He's just so inconsistent. One game will get a 52, and then the next a 27. I'd I would i would say I'd say keep him in your back pocket. He has done well against Dallas in the past. 55, 47, 58. Again, with this one here, Dallas is so terrible. Um, it might be a blow up as you saw uh, today. Uh, Darius Garland is now up to 6'1", so he's out of that 5K range. Um, so he's priced about right now. Uh, coming off a 40-point game, but before that, he was barely getting maybe, what, 28, 24, 35, 26. So I don't know about 6'1", but definitely keep him in your back pocket. Drew Holiday is questionable, so we'll see if he plays. If he plays, I don't mind him at all. If he plays and is on no minutes restriction, 65-60 in his last two against Minnesota. Again, another game that should blow up, but Milwaukee is also has not been playing well. So with Catton in the game, I mean, it could be close. We'll see. Uh, let's see. Dennis Smith Jr., what a fucking uh, last time, right? 4.2K. We'll see. We'll see if he gets a start. I probably won't go back here because I'm not in it for the pain. I'm in it to win it. You know what I'm saying? But 4-2. Um, it's either him or Sabian Lee, guys. Sabian Lee's 3-2, played 32 minutes because Dennis Smith Jr. sucks so bad, he got benched. 30 fantasy points for Sabian Lee. So we'll see. I mean, if even if Dennis Smith gets a start, I might just go Sabian Lee and hope for the best. Uh, DJ Augustine needs to play at 4-2, gets 30 minutes a game, as long as the game stays close. Um He's just, you know, hope to God he gets you about 24 or more at 4-2. That's all you can do, right? And then again, Sabian Lee at 3-2 is good value. The Knicks have a pretty good value, though. Let's go to shooting. I think the Knicks are underpriced in sleep. So, again, Bradley Beal, if he's going to play him, he'll probably play and Westbrook will probably sit. Who knows? It's a back-to-back. -back. We'll see. Um, Middleton will be chasing. You guys already know how I feel about Middleton this season. Jalen Brown's okay at 8K. Um, again, just worry about the blowout, right? Uh, Evan Fournier, I love at 6'8". 48, 48 in his last two. 31 minutes exactly in his last three. Last time he gets Detroit, he got a 50-burger. So Evan Fournier at 6'8", guys. Get him in there. This price is going up, and it's going to continue to go up because he's been balling out, guys. Josh Jackson, 5.8K. Love this play. $700 cheaper on FanDuel. 34, 26, 24 fantasy points in his last three. 32, 23, 26 minutes. So as long as he gets 30-plus minutes, I don't mind Josh Jackson at 5.8K. Last time against Orlando, it's a rematch. So he did get a 34. 
Anthony Edwards, again, is a complete fade. As long as Cat's in the game, guys, you're going to continue to see Edwards get these 20-point fantasy games. So at 6K, are you fucking kidding me? No, that's a hard pass. Hard pass. Uh, Tim Hardaway still good at 4-5. I think Porzingis will be back. It was a back-to-back -back game, so he took today off. I'm assuming he'll be back tomorrow. Um, but either way, I think Tim Hardaway still in play. He he went off tonight, had a great first half, kind of cooled off in the third quarter, and then the fourth quarter um, got back to it. So, But he's just too cheap, guys. 4-5 for Tim Hardaway is just cheap either way. $300 more on Bando. He'll still come off the bench like he did today. Um, let's see. But if Porzingis is out, that's even better. Um, Daquan Jeffries. So let's talk about this for a second. 3.8K. Got 39 minutes last game. 34 fantasy points. Let's let's see. So if Harrison Barnes is out, I can see maybe Daquan Jeffries getting the start. If Harrison Barnes is in, Jeffries is a complete fade. All right. So just keep your eyes out for that Harrison Barnes news. I'm loving targeting that game, though. All right, so let's go to small forward. So no Paul George, Kawhi Leonard's always in play, guys. 9.4K. Washington took uh, the Lakers into overtime tonight. So don't assume this game's going to blow out. In a close game at 9.4, Kawhi Leonard is in play. But me personally, I'd rather get to James and Kyrie. Uh, Jason Tatum at 8.9K. Anytime he's in the 8K range, guys, you gotta got to love it. Um, just again, afraid of the blowout, but man, he gets a ton of minutes. If the game's close, we'll get 40. If not so close, 34. So still all fifties in his last three games for 8k guys, 50 burgers are what you really want. So get him in there, guys. Jason Tatum. That's how space says his name because he's from the South. He got that Southern draw. Uh, RJ Barrett. I'm gonna go back here, guys. He's still too cheap at five, five. 34 minutes last game, 31 fantasy points. Last time against Golden State, he got 38. And before that, a 45. So two times against Golden State, the worst he got was a 38. Sneaky, sneaky. Just like my sneaky, sneaky play last yesterday with Sarge, today's sneaky, sneaky play is going to be R.J. Barrett at 5.5K. Same price on FanDuel, guys. Um, with Steph back, I think a lot of people are going to Chase Kelly Oubre here at 6'9", not realizing that Steph didn't play last game, right? Now, I know he's been getting all 40s, but, man, don't buy high on these guys. Do not buy high. We learned that today, right? Um, 42, 45, 44 in his last three, but let's face it. It's Kelly freaking Oubre, right? That, see, that floor game's coming. So it's just like the stock market. You don't want to buy it on its highest mark. You want to get these guys at their cheapest mark. So. Not until Kelly Oubre comes down in price, I'm not going to play him. But it's not a bad play, but 7K, no, I'm not going to do it. Buddy Hill at 6'3", <laughs> come on now. Let's go. You guys getting barely 20 fantasy points a game this season. Uh, Chetty the Cheese Osmond at 5'6", love it. Get him in there, guys. $200 cheaper on Fandle. I like Sadiq Bey here at 5'6", for tournaments. Um he plays 30 minutes, guys, and if he's if his shots are dropping, he's got 50 point upside, 40 point upside. So Sadiq Bay at 5'6, definitely worth a look for GPPs. Also, Will Barton at 5'3. He's got 30, 40 point upside. His usage rate's going up. 18 and then 22%. You can take a look there. Um, let's see. We already went over Hardaway. Jeffries. All right. So. Guys, if you didn't cash today, if you're not a part of the DFS club, if you didn't win the contest today, don't you dare be sour. Clap your hands and feel the power. Because it's a new day, and we're going to go to power forward. Let's go. That's the most beautiful thing about DFS, guys, is every day is a new day. You didn't win, you're going to win the next day. All right? Giannis Antipupu at 11K. If you're going to pay 11K for a player, I'd rather go here than uh, Luka Duka. 68-73, 53 in his last three. He gets a great matchup against Minnesota, guys. Nobody in the league can stop him. Giannis Antipupu at 11K, guys. Get him in there. In a close game, he'll play 40 minutes this season. 
Julius Randle at 9 3 is in play against Golden State, guys. Last time he played him, he got 55. Uh, $500 cheaper on FanDuel, way too cheap over there. I just think these Knicks guys are just priced down. So I love the buy low, guys. Gets about 40 minutes a game. I expect this game to be competitive. Get him in there. Let's see here. Bobby Portis, if you think the game's going to blow out against Minnesota, he's 5K, so that's a big risk. But if it blows out, which it has the last two times against Minnesota because he's gotten two 40 burgers, 41 and a 44 in his last two against Minnesota. That's because it blew out and he got all that extra run. So you think it's going to happen for a third time? Bobby Portis, get him in there at 5K. Um, let's see. The bookmakers have it. I, I don't know how far the, the spread is, but it's pretty pretty high for that game. Uh, Daniel Tice is worth a look. I mean, he's 4.8K. Plays If the game's close, he'll play 40 minutes. It's just his production is just shit. 14 and 10% usage rate. That's awful. That's completely awful, but you never know. He can surprise you and get a 37 like he did two games ago. So Tice is worth a look at 4.8, $100 more on Fandle. Al Farouk Aminu at 3.4K. Welcome back, man. I love this guy. Um, his minutes continue to go up, 11, 12, and then 18 last game. Get him in there, guys. For a good value play at 3.4K, $100 more on Fandle. Good matchup against Detroit, ranked 21st in the league against forwards, guys. Al Farouk Aminu, get him in there. All right, so let's go to center. Center stack this slate. Not like uh, yesterday's slate. This is pretty stacked. You got Nikolai Jokic. That's right. That's how I pronounce it. 10.8K. I don't know how to play him before I play Luka. Um, gets a great matchup against Portland, guys. Cancer plays no defense. 43, 58, 59 in his last three. He's due for another, like, 70-point game, guys. Nikolai Jokic in a great matchup against Portland. What do we say, guys? Get him in there. Uh, Joel Embiid's always in play. Always. 10.6K. Against Toronto, I think this game should stay close. So, yeah, remember that 92-point game against Chicago? <laughs> that was beautiful. But Toronto, they're pretty tough defensively. But, again, good luck with Embiid. Trying to stop him. Vucevic at 10 twos in play. Um, 65 and 73 in his last two. Again, it's a rematch. So 65 last time against Detroit. Get him in there, guys. Cat at 9 6. He'll probably be low owned. So it's probably a good tournament play. But if the game blows out, you're kind of fucked, right? So it's it's high risk, high reward for Cat. Um, Clint Capella is cheap at 7 9. Last time he played Cleveland, he got 46 fantasy points, guys. 40, 57, 43 in his last three. Plays 30 minutes a game, guys. Especially with John Collins' minutes being cut so bad. I love Clint Capella even more. I think John Collins is on the trading block, to be honest with you. So, yeah, Clint Capella, get him in there. Rashawn Holmes at 5'6", guys, is very interesting against Brooklyn. Um, Played 21 minutes last game, 29 Fantasy points. I don't know what it is with Sacramento and their fucking centers. They don't play more than 25 minutes. I don't get it, but it's a great matchup against Brooklyn. For 5-6, I think it's definitely worth a look. Um, let's see. Green, should, Green is questionable, so where is he at? DeAndre Jordan should get more minutes if Green's out at 5-5. Five, five. He got 41 fantasy points and got 31 minutes last game, guys. And he gets some Sacramento Queens. So DeAndre Jordan at 5'5, five, five, guys, especially if Green's out. Shit, get him in there. Um, let's see. We left off at Rashawn Orale Holmes. All right. So Brooke Lopez at 4'4. Four, four. That's cheap for Brooke Lopez, guys. Really? He's just got to get one of these 25 fantasy point games to pay off that price tag. Last time he was Minnesota, he got 33. So Definitely, yeah, get him in there, guys. Tristan Thompson at 4-4 is not bad. 27-29, uh, he showed little shades of Tristan Thompson of, as of late um, from Cleveland. 31, 29, 28 in his last three. So at 4-4, that's all you want, guys. Last time against Dallas, he got a 28. So Tristan Thompson's worth a look. If you want to uh, chase Robert Williams, not the comedian, but the basketball player, you could do that, 36, 33 in his last two. But the minutes are low. He just gets a lot of uh, points per 
per minute, but he gets in foul trouble a lot too. So there's that. But it's a risk, high risk, high reward, right? Jared Allen at 7-5. Get him now before he's 8K, right? He played 41 minutes last game, 56 fantasy points. Um, but again, I'm just worried about the blowout. Other than that, it's a great matchup against the Hawks. Jared Allen, get him in there. Uh, DeAndre Jordan, we just talked about him. Nerlens Noel's Wells, okay. 4.9, no Mitchell Robinson. Last time against Golden State, he got 31. So, um, for 4.9, if he gets you 30, I'll take it. Nerlens Noel, Wells, guys, get him in there. James Wiseman should be back, but he'll probably be on a, a, a minutes restriction. Um, let's see who else we got. So, of course, thing is, is out. Willie Cauley Stein at three ones. Okay. I think he'll play though. Like today, Dwight Powell, Willie Cauley Stein basically just split the minutes. Um, if Porzingis is out again, then yeah, roll these guys out. If Porzingis is in, just for, forget about it. Forget about it. All right. So, that's going to do it for the picks, but it's not over, guys. The show must go on. So, let's go to. The lineup optimizer, let's put together our lineup for DraftKings and FanDuel. All right, so I'm going to try and get James and Kyrie in here. So we already got them two there. Tim Hardaway at 4 or 5 is not bad. Um, I am going to have to pay down, but I got, Ky I got Kawhi and Jalen Brown. So we're okay. We're okay. I do like the Bobby Porter's play, though, but let's see what else we can do here. We can go Shadiq Bay. I love that. I love Chetty at 5'6. Tice. Ugh, I mean, I guess. Let's go for a Minu for our value play here. And then center. Um, I think it's gonna be hard to fit in a, a stud center with James and Kyrie. So I'll go DeAndre Jordan here. We're still 3K over. That's fine. Sabian Lee is fine. Um Forward, plenty plenty of options here, guys. Josh Jackson, Chetty, the Cheese, Shadiq Bay, RJ Barrett. I like Barrett. And then for the utility spot, we can go down to right to Chris Middleton, or we can go Clint Capella, Jared Allen. Give me uh, give me Capella here. I and mean, we still got five hundred on the table, so. We want to go up a little bit here. You can. Don't be afraid to leave salary on the table, guys. Sometimes it's good. Uh, no. Aquan Jeffries just out of reach. But I like Sabian Lee, guys. So James Harden, Kyrie Irving, Tim Hardaway, Alfarik, Alfaruk Aminu, John J. Jordan, Sabian Lee, RJ Barrett, Clint Capella. Even if you wanted to go. I, I like to do two centers, guys. It's It's been working. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. What if we go Rashawn Holmes here and then maybe guard? We can pay up a little bit more. Yeah, now we can pay up a little bit more. I can get Josh Jackson in here. So that's even better. All right, so let me know if this cashes, guys. James Harden, Kyrie Irving, Tim Hardaway Jr., Alfred Camino, DeAndre Jordan, Josh Jackson, RJ Barrett, Rashawn Holmes. Orale Holmes. Let's go to Fandle. All right, so Fandle, Flick and Pella is jacked up to Jesus. Do I have any, like, good value down here? No. So, I like DeAndre Jordan here. All right, so we got two Boston guys for forwards. I don't know about all that. I like Julius Randle. Um... Bobby Portis, I think I like Bobby Portis. I really think the game's on up a lot, but I'm, I'll go for some Al Farouk Aminu for some value here. Uh, we're 6K under, so we're, we're good. Kyle Lowry, probably not. You guys already know I'm going to go Kyrie here. Um, Then we'll pay down here because I'm going to try and get you-know-who. Um, Let's go. we got Sabian Lee's 5K over here. My God. Vandal is not fucking around. All right, so let's go. Uh, let's go. Let's see if we can fit in Garland and then shooting guard. Let's go to James. Yep, we can still fit him. All right, so this will work right here. Then we still got money on the table. So we got Kyrie, 
Darius Garland, James Harden, Josh Jackson, Chetty, RJ, Julius Randle, Alfarik Aminu, DeAndre Jordan, guys. So there we go. This is Draft Dashboard, guys. You can make a million lineups if you want. Again, it's only $1 for 30 days. And, guys, don't forget www.dfsclub.com. Come join the family. I show you guys every single night. We're making miracles happen. Members are paying. I call them members, but they're really family. They're paying bills with their winnings, guys. Child support, groceries, rent, utility. I mean, you name it, guys. We're changing lives over here, so that's what it's all about for me. That's what it's all about for DFS space. That's why we started this whole damn thing. So let's go, guys. Let's keep this momentum going. Let's get on the winning train, dfsclub.com. And I'm going to say a prayer for each and every one of you guys. And, again, congratulations to the winner. Hit me up on my email, skywalkerdfs at gmail.com. It's going to be 80 degrees tomorrow here in California. I'm so excited. I'm going to go head down to the pool, get some sun, and just chill, and then get back to work and do some DFS. So God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your pets. You guys already know, let's get this bread. Don't take shit from nobody. Absolutely nobody. I live and die by that, y'all. Deuces. <laughs>